right, well, I got a little bit of the hydroponics um, done. Uh, got some cinder blocks with a 10 foot, uh, 10 foot by 8 inch uh, wide board with my one gallon pots. And uh, got all the holes drilled in them, like you saw seen in the past. And then just drilled a half inch uh, pipe to go through it. Now with the water return, I'm trying to use just material that I have on hand. And the grow media for this is going to be cocoa par, so I'm really not going to have a lot of water return out of here. Because um, it's probably going to turn on twice a day. Um, but just in case we have an overflow, um, I do want to um, have the um, do have a channel for the excess water to, to run. So what I have is I have a ton of half inch PVC pipe laying around, which I have to paint this so I don't get um, algae and everything on the inside. Um, it's, eh, it's pretty dark, but it'll I think some light will pass through it. I'm not sure, but uh, but anyways. Um, but I have a bunch of T pieces, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put a half inch pipe through here and coming out and then I'm going to put a T piece and then just have a half inch piece of PVC running here and I'm just going to have it just literally sitting on this lip right here um, all the way down and then I'll probably put a stabilizer right there and right there to make sure that the, the channel goes well and then um, if it does drain really well, then I'll probably glue them, not sure, I might glue them together. And then here, I'll put a 90 off of here, and then a piece of pipe coming up, probably like a three foot pipe, two or three foot pipe with a cap on it, um, cap or an overflow, so that way, um, if the water does get a little bit too high, it will, actually it won't be three feet, I'm sorry, um, it'll go, um, here and then it'll probably go up to the same height as this bucket right here so for some odd reason these buckets are filling up pretty quickly um, with rain or anything um, I will have a overflow over here and uh, then it'll just I'll have it sitting or have a bucket right here so that way you can collect and it won't waste that water so because I don't want the cocoa core media to wash out I know it's not explained very good now but um, you'll see You'll see when I'm done. And then also over here, I have the NFT channels kind of set up. Um, I did a, a drip test to make sure that the water um, comes out really nicely. And it does. We'll do... Uh, now, of course, this isn't finished. Because I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for water channels to come right now. It's coming via UPS. But anyways, so I have... Uh, kind of a 90 degree it's more like an 80 degree elbow it looks like and then I'm just putting a little bit of water not a ton just a little bit of water and then we should be able to see it come up there there we go so we have a really nice um, drain really nice uh, slant and what I might do is um, because I have all this, uh, all these 90 degrees, oh, 90 degree elbows, and uh, half inch PVC pipe, is I'm probably going to plumb. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this water, the water here, because I'd like to be able to control the flow. Um, so I have a few stopcocks um, or ball valves sitting around. So what I'm probably going to do is um, have a half inch pipe coming up somewhere here. And then the main feed line coming in to the half inch, and I'll just kind of seal that off a little bit or plug it up. And then the water will come along down here, and then just feed in to these right here with the ball valves. And uh, like I said, I'll you know figure out how I want to run it. But this way, I'm not um, the water's not coming out too fast. I don't think it will, um, but. I like to be better safe than sorry. Once the system's done, I like it to be done. So, all right. Well, I hope you hope you've liked this so far. All right. Well, I just finished installing the bulkheads. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch bulkhead, 
and uh, this is just a standard three-quarter inch um, NFT fitting to a half inch um, pipe. I'm using some of the black pipe. I'm trying to do everything as black as I can because I don't want any algae um, popping up. But I have one in each one. Uh, this is just a loose fit here. This is a 45-ish. Uh, it's more uh, not a 45. Um, uh, it's not. It's not a 90. It's not a 45, really. So, but anyways, um, I don't even know what angle it is, but. Uh, this needs to be caulked. It's just a loose fitting. I'm not going to caulk it yet. I'll caulk it when I'm all done. Um, and then uh, just returns down here. Uh, here's the water reservoir. I just tested it out. It works real well. Um, the real test is putting the pump in here and running it all the way down to there, the 10 feet. Um, it looks the best right now just because um, I'm just kind of running some of the plumbing pieces. And everything uh, next I'm going to uh, start measuring and cutting the holes for the um, for the uh, net cups so we'll see how that goes all right well just I'm out of breath we have been doing this for probably over an hour um, I just got done hand cutting all the slots for the NFT system. I just have a Dremel and uh, I just couldn't see spending 14 bucks on a whole saw for this. Um, so these ones here, uh, these are gonna be for all the strawberries. And uh, this one here, this will be for the lettuce or uh, um, the greens, greens and the lettuce. So. I cut these close, um, just because they're close doesn't mean I'm going to have strawberries in every one of them. I just did it just in case I wanted more. Um, and I spaced them out. I think I have uh, 20 or 21 in each thing. And the next is uh, I'll start cutting um, all the pipes here, or this pipe here, probably tomorrow. I'm going to go out and pick some stuff in the garden and then uh, work on it more. Alright, well, we're going to start some testing here um, on the um, feed lines. So you can see that I put a coupling on here to kind of semi-pressurize the line. And then um, put it upwards here so that way everything should pretty much fill because this is level here. It's not level this way, but it's level this way. So all the water here should technically be at the same level eventually. So, but anyways, I have these stop cocks just in case I need to adjust the flow. I ran this hose here through the pipe so that way it's nice and clean and also light won't uh, pass through it as much and I won't get a bunch of algae clogging the line. Um, I don't remember if I made a video, but I went ahead and I drilled all the holes yesterday. So here's the pump. Let's see if we can get a good view. Here's the pump. It's a four watt pump. It has a three meter, three meter head lift. So it should be able to um, lift it enough to feed this whole unit here. Um, I have the drain lines sitting here and then uh, the, of course the power box right there so what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and then we'll see how, how it works pretty much set up the same way it's messy still need to be mounted but um, it'll work all right well you can see it's working I'm getting the slow trickle that I wanted and that's even without any adjustments here. So let's go ahead and check down here. Now I know I'm going to get a leak here because of uh, I haven't caulked this yet. But once it gets caulked, it'll uh, start draining. See, I've got some draining right there. All right. Well, I finished plumbing the hydroponic system today, the Dutch buckets, and. 
before you remember that I was trying to use all the materials that I already had on hand. So this was an existing pump. Um, I'm gonna I put a 90 in here, and then what I did was each hole on this half inch pipe I just drilled um, a one eighth inch hole on uh, uh, two of them for each bucket. And I did it all the way down here into this. Now, when I turn this on, you're going to see that the pressure is pretty high for um, for being um, the Dutch buckets, and I don't want to take a chance of anything flowing out or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cap off, and this is my return line. It's a half-inch return line. I'm going to take this cap off, I'm going to extend the PVC pipe out, and I'm going to 45 it, and then 90 it here, but I'm going to put a stopcock right here. And in that way, what I'll be able to do is by opening up that stopcock a little bit more, I'll reduce the amount of forceful pressure coming out of these holes in here, so I can I can actually regulate the pressure without um, without putting the stopcock right off the pump and causing more added pressure with the pump because I don't want to add more pressure to the pump because it'll burn it out faster. So, but uh, let me go ahead and turn this on and then uh, I'll get back to you. All right, as you can see here, you can see how fast the pressure is coming out. And they only have one little leak. It's just a little droplet leak right there. I'll probably just silicone it a little bit, but I'm not too worried because the main, because um, this is really gonna, it's gonna be time to turn on for, I think two to three minutes a day, or two to three minutes a time twice a day. And the cocoa bar should hold in all the moisture that we need. But you can see that it's coming out pretty quick. Um, so I'd like to slow it down. So, but it's doing really good. Um, like I said, I just had one little leak. Not a big, not a big deal. So, all right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And the next up, the next update you'll see is. Uh, when I put a stopcock on here and after that um, probably won't have another update until the springtime when we have plants in here um, this I went ahead and cut a few notches out so that way it's more level water's more level here or the pipes more level because when it was upright like this um, when this whole thing was filling up um, it the pump didn't have enough head pressure to um, fill up all of this pipe right here and then put it out. So I wanted to increase the flow, so I cut a notch out, making it more level, and the um, the flow really increased. It increased to what I wanted it to. And I'm going to um, level this more out. This is uh, has a bit of a, too much of a slant to where the water gathers at the bottom there a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna put some uh, 10 foot 2x4s underneath here and then level the 2x4s from there. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned for another one.